Hello everyone, how's it going? Casey Jones here. I just wanted to touch base with you today and go over a few tips and tricks for the check-in activity because Wednesday by 11.59 is on its way, my friends. It is coming up. So let's get started. First of all, Canvas is your friend. <laughs> I know when I say it like that, it sounds like Canvas is not your friend, but Canvas is your friend. However, there are some good things to know about Canvas going in. First of all, getting familiar with Canvas is the best thing you can do. All right, because let me put it to you this way. Have you ever had to drive from Culver City to Sherman Oaks and you're just dreading it? And then you get on the 405 North and there's no traffic and you think, this is magic. LA is amazing. 405 North is my favorite freeway. And you get to Sherman Oaks in like 20 minutes and it's like the best day ever, right? But then the next day, you're running a little bit late. You got started late or your mom called on your way out the door, whatever. But you're like, no big deal because it was so great yesterday. And then you get on the 405 North and it's you and like every single person in Southern California who owns a car. And it is just a disaster. Okay, that's what Canvas is like when you're running late to post an assignment. It's like the academic 405 North, all right? So getting familiar is so great because it just dials down your anxiety about turning in an assignment that you may not know exactly what you're doing. And also, these classes move fast, as we've talked about. And every once in a while, you're in the throes of a late start class and you've still got your other classes and all of a sudden you go squirrel and you realize that you're about to miss a deadline. Well, don't quit. Like, get in there and go ahead and post or get some points, do what you got to do. But being familiar with Canvas beforehand is really helpful. So let me show you a few things that might make it go a little bit smoother when those moments come. Okay, so first of all, as you know, when in doubt, go to modules. You knew I was gonna say that. So you click on modules, and I'm gonna scroll down in the orientation module down to our check-in activity. This is a great activity. You just get connected with other people in class, break the ice, try out some of the technology so that you can start to feel comfy with it, and just get started. So right now we are going through navigating the check-in activity and every week you're going to find a post like that navigating the journals navigating uh, the PSA assignment how do you frame your video what happens if your friends bail like we have lots of stuff that we're going to be navigating so I will have posted some videos to help you prepare for what's coming up but in this case we're going to do the check-in activity so just click in on the course check-in activity and I've got it divided into three different tabs so that it's easy to manage all the information. So for the discussions, the check-in activity here, this is all the information you need to make your post. So right up here, we have the due dates at the very top. I'm gonna to ask you a few questions just to get your mind all revved up and ready to go. Gotta get that brain working. Then we're gonna go down. We're gonna talk a little bit about being a student, how I understand how easy it is to get in that trap of only looking what you're missing on a rubric as opposed to everything you did so well. And then this is the activity part, okay? The activity part is an introduction video, one to three minutes. Now, I highly, highly recommend that you upload your videos to YouTube and then post links to YouTube in your discussion responses. And the reason why I say that is because Canvas doesn't always handle huge media files very well. And so it can get very glitchy, and especially in the app when you're trying to upload a video. So if you put it in YouTube, if you upload it to YouTube and then go that route, it's super smooth. But sometimes if you're using an MP4, unless you've compressed the file, unless you've compressed the file, then the file is too big and it just takes forever. It either buffers forever or it just never posts. So to avoid that aggravation, go to YouTube. Just go to YouTube and it's so much easier. But I think it would be helpful if you knew how to put a video up. So let me show you a few tricks about linking to a YouTube video in your discussion. So here we're at the check-in activity and I've already got a video up. Panic at the disco. It's a good song, right? No matter who sings it. So in this case, all I'm gonna do is click on share and I'm just gonna copy the link. You guys have probably done that before. Copy the link, 
I'm going to go here to the course check in activity. I'm going to scroll down and I'm going to reply. Your initial post is a reply to my prompt. So I want you to imagine that Professor Jones has asked you a question or asked you to do something and now you're replying to me for your initial post. So in this case, I'm just going to go here. I'm going to post the, I just copy and paste the link and then I'm going to, uh oh, hold on, hold on, everybody. It doesn't look right. Let's fix it. There we go. I was like, something doesn't look right. So, and I, all I did there is I just hit enter before I hit, I, before I put post reply. So now it's here. There's a link to it and I can get to it. Okay. That's awesome. That's one really great way to do it. Another great way to do it is if, let's make another post. Reply to your teacher. If you go up here to the YouTube icon in the navigation toolbar, if I just put that link in there, it should come up. Now, sometimes it doesn't. Okay. Sometimes it doesn't. So let's see. Let's see. I don't see it. So sometimes it will not come up. All right. And so then maybe you just do Bohemian. How do you spell it? B O H E M I A N Rhapsody and Panic at the Disco. Let's see if it'll come up. Sometimes it doesn't this way. So the video has come up and look at there's like, oh, here we go. So here's the live version, right? So now I'm just going to hit enter and then I'm going to hit embed. And when I do that, it looks like that. Pretty easy, right? And then it'll play right from, from your text box, whether it's in your initial post or in your responses. So the thing about this is it just makes it super easy. YouTube just interfaces really well with Canvas and it's just, it's just smooth and easy. So that is my tip for you when it comes to the check-in activity is that, or anything that requires video. And we do have a couple of discussion boards where video is an option. So I want you to learn how to do it so that way you can try something different. Okay. Now there are a couple other options for ways to embed. So if you figure those out, I have an extra credit opportunity here at the bottom of the frequently asked questions. So check that out. Get those check-in activities done. They're due by 11.59 on Wednesday in order to stay in the class. So it's really important you do it. Have some fun with this assignment. It's one to three minutes. It's two points. It's very simple. So just live a little, all right? Have some fun with it. I'll see you online. Okay, bye everyone.